Hi, today I want to review the new Revlon Color Stay 2-in-1 Compact Makeup and Concealer. I got mine from Bed Bath & Beyond and I just did a New Year new drugstore makeup haul video. Um, so I if you wanna if you're interested in what I got from you know the new drugstore stuff and you can check out that video. Um, and basically I picked up this after seeing the the shades that they put out there. I was hesitant of which shade particular shade to try because they all look kind of yellowish and dark in the pan. Um, even the palest shade I feel like it doesn't really look that pale. Um, so I was kind of confused when it you know like in terms of which shade to get. Basically picked up this shade in 150 buff. Uh, I just thought maybe it's like a buff beige type of color so that's why I did um, and this has a I mean pretty bulky uh, packaging but then again if you compare to all the cushion compact they are about the same uh, let me just show you in reference like the cushion compact they're about the same you have a cl uh, plastic lid right here and then you get your concealer in the little pan on top and after that, the second layer will be the actual um, cream foundation. And then below that, you get a mirror, which is pretty nice, I guess, for on the go kind of a touch up. And they include this like piece of guitar pick shaped um, black sponge applicator. As you can see in the demo, like I already apply, like apply half of my face with the sponge that's included in this uh, compact. Now the consistency with this uh, this product is that the cream foundation has a much creamier texture, which I think is really nice to blend out, but not with the sponge applicator. The sponge applicator. I'm not sure if you're supposed to use it wet or dry, but I use it dry, and I just have to. F I just don't like the way how it applies with this sponge applicator. It feels almost like, in the way like, I'm using sandpaper on my skin. It's not like coarse or anything. It just I don't like the finish of it. Um, I spray my face. I prep my face with the Jolique Rose Water Balancing Mist, but for some reason. It really sucks the moisture out of my face. So whatever I use afterwards, it just like whatever foundation I use afterwards, the it really emphasizes on the dry pack. And I apply the other half with the real techniques. Um, this is the sculpting brush, which I really like. And I feel like this brush is pretty dense. And as you can see, um, it applies. I feel like it applies this cream compact foundation like so much faster than the sponge itself so um it doesn't really leave any streaks on my face either since it's like a really nice dense like blending brush so i actually like the application with this particular brush but i feel like you can probably try to use a dampened like beauty blender uh, that might be a much better sponge or you can just use any other of your favorite foundation brush to apply this cream compact but definitely i wouldn't recommend the uh, the sponge applicator that comes with this compact it doesn't matter if i use a sponge or the brush i feel like it's very weightless um and i don't th i think it's probably transfer proof um yeah, I think it's transfer proof because I don't really see anything. Um, I feel like the Color Stay Revlon Color Stay makeup line is supposed to be really, really good. I think people say that it has a really long wearing time and it's supposed to be like transfer proof. So um, this is my first time actually trying out like um, Color Stay uh, foundation line. I went back with the um, concealer. The concealer, as I swatched it, it really has a much like thicker and drier, actually drier texture, which I think um, is good and bad because it's bad in the way that you it's harder to like buff like blend out the concealer if you want to use it under eye. Um, and it's dry so because your under eye is very like thin like 
very thin skins under your eyes so if you use a dryer like concealer it might kind of like separates or sinking to the fine line so it doesn't look so nice you want something definitely has a little bit more emollient or something underneath your eyes and uh, I try to cover up this red spot on um, my above my eyebrow area. I've used a sponge to like tap in the color. I actually tap like two layers of it. But as you can see right now, it's actually I didn't even rub it or anything. I feel like it's like wearing off or something. So I feel like the drier texture might not like have a longer wearing time. Um, even though I layer like two of it, but of course I didn't set it with a powder because of the finish is like a, like a matte finish. On camera, I feel like it has a more natural finish because I can actually see like, I don't know if the my natural like oils coming through, that's why I'm getting this sort of like a luminous like a glow on my, you know, on my nose and on my cheekbones. Um, and a little bit above my eyebrows, but in person, I feel like this foundation definitely pulls a lot more matte in person. I didn't set it with anything. I didn't put any like blush, any bronzer, like any powder or any face mist or anything on top of this foundation. But for some reason on camera, it actually looks really nice. But in person, it looks horrible like close up in the mirror like I definitely see all the dry patches here the dry flaking skin around my you know the cheek area over here it's very cakey over this area some doesn't even look like it's really blending where the area um, where this half of the face um, oh actually this half of the face where I use a sponge to sponge to apply um, it looks like it wasn't really blended in really well and I feel like the, the concealer, since I didn't set it with the powder, um, for some reason, like, it's wearing off already. And I only had this on for an hour. I feel like my tan has, like, kind of faded on my face. So this is pretty close to MAC, like, NC20. So if you're around that range, uh, pick a buff. Um, yeah, this is pretty close to MAC's NC20 to me. I like the fact that it's a nice matte finish, so maybe it will be a good compact um, foundation to use when the weather is a bit warmer, when my skin is a little bit more oily. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend this particular compact makeup, uh, compact foundation. Um, and I think this costs around 11 to $13, like depends on where you get this. If you're a fan of the Colorstay line from Revlon, then um, get it and try it. But otherwise, I wouldn't really recommend this particular foundation. I think the coverage is really nice. Uh, it evens out my skin tone right away. And um, if you like a matte, kind of more like a matte or semi-matte and matte finish, um, this one is not bad. But like I said, I don't feel like this is long wearing because it's been an hour or so. And uh, I feel like my skin is already getting like glowy glowing you know everywhere so I don't know I mean it's not like oily oily but it looks definitely looks glowing on camera so um like I said I'll do more updates on my blog and I hope you enjoy this first impression demo review video of the Revlon Colorstay 2-in-1 compact makeup and concealer and uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe I'll see you next time take care bye